hello everyone so today we are going to discuss how we can install the nexus switch in evng if you see here i have the nexus images if you see this is a nexus 9k 5k 7k i have this images for three switch later you can join our telegram channel in that one we are going to share so you are going to get this all images there so don't forget to join our telegram channel so now we are going to learn how we can load so first of all power on the evng okay and you can open the evng website okay let me open the evng you can open evng because we need to look the naming so we can go to the documentation evng here let me check where is the evng image naming this one we need to click evng image naming here you can check if you want to check the nexus okay you can see this is a 9k so this should be the folder name you need to give if you are installing if you are putting uploading the uh, 9k images the nexus 9k images in your evng then you need to make the folder name this is the folder name and here you can give the version name you can give anything here so uh, i already created here if you see you can see here this is a nx os v9 k dash version 9.3.1 i wrote so this is the folder name you can copy and paste in the folder name after dash you can define the version name this should be the folder name this is a condition so already i created that folder name inside the folder name you should have the image so if you see this is a image name sata so what we will do we will give this name as sata dot q cow to this is a extension so no need to worry for this extension this name should be the image name you need to follow same as it is if you have a small follow a small if you have capital follow capital whatever the letters you have you need to follow i have all small letter i keep all small letter dot q cow to is a extension and this is a folder name if you see this is a folder name whatever is given i wrote that one so this is the image is ready now just we need to upload in the evng so already i power on the evng if you see this is the ip so i am going to type this ip let me type here 192.168.145.129 and already you know admin and ev is a password so you can log in here and after that you can open the vnscp vnscp this one we will use this is a ftp tftp if you want to transfer the file we can transfer with the help of vnscp so this is a vnscp i am using and here i am using sft and here you need to put the ip address whatever ip address we have we have 192.168.45.128 whatever evng ip you are getting you need to put that ip here port number should be 22 and the username is root password is here whatever the password you have eve okay so already it is set up for me maybe for you you will have like this so you need to put this ip username is root password is eve then you can save and click then it will connect and it will open like this and you need to go to this directory this directory you need to go if you see here opt you unit lab add-ons key mu in the key mu you need to drag and drop this folder so which folder this one you can drag like this and drop here where you will drop here i already drop here so i have this folder here if you see this one nx osv 9k if you want let me delete this i can delete i already have this one but let me delete here okay i delete it so i don't have i have the palalto i have other version i don't have 9k so what I will do, I will keep like this, okay, and this one like this, and I will drag this and drop here, okay. It will take some time, you need to wait. After that, you can just paste the permission command. So first of all, you need to remember, whenever you get the image, you should have the folder name should be this one. Version, I wrote 9.3.1, you can use any version, whatever version you are having, but folder name from here to 9k should remain same how i know this one because i check here in the website if you see this one this is a folder name you go up and up here you can see 
this is a key mu folder name eve and this is a image name okay so for that purpose what i done i created the folder after dash you can give the version and this is a image name so already i created i keep ready so this is a folder name this is a image name i drag and drop here and it is available here now it came here it will take some time after that it will come here so this is an access 9k switch available we already load here now you can check the permission command how you will check the permission command you can go to the documentation okay and here you can search you will get the permission command if you want you can go to the documentation and check or let me show you another easy method how to get the permission command just you will go to the google okay you will go and you will type here e v e n g permission command write this one and open this one faq questions and here write permission okay just write permission and you will get how to fix permission so this one you will copy this and go to this you need to log in this username is root password is e v e so i will write root password is e v e now i am inside i will click here then i will go to edit i will paste here so now i pasted everything came here i will press enter so this is a permission command whenever you change any image add image remove image you need to put this permission command so i put the permission command now after that you can go here let me delete this all whatever i keep before okay i will delete before i use this one so i will delete all this one now i can refresh this one right click and go here and you can check the nexus 9k this one click here okay so let me show you so i selected here same like we take any normal switch we will take like that only if you see here this is a 9k name you can give if you want to keep here 9k okay like this we are we can keep n 9k nexus 9k this is the name of the switch 8 gb of ram this switch is going to take okay and i will say save so this look like this and you can right click start and double click to take the console it will load it will give you console of the switch it will take some time okay you got my point right first you need to load here after that you will go to evng you will put the permission command after that you will drag and drop and take here nexus 9k you put here whatever image you upload you will select and power on and then take the cli of that one it will load and it will give you the output it will take some time it will load if you see and after that you can access the nexus 9k you need to wait for some time you need to wait for some time after that you can Uh, go and do the whatever configuration you want to do like you can create the vlan you can do the inter vlan so this way we can load the 9k nexus switch in our next class we are going to learn how we can do the configuration configuration some configuration is similar some are different some features are not enabled by default we need to enable so we are going to learn that all after some time means in our next class okay i will pause the video till it will load up and the switch will be ready because it is going to take some time so video length will be uh, long if i keep like this so i will pause the video for some time when the switch cli is ready i will show you there okay thank you see here if you see we get option here like setup or skip so i put here skip let me show you here okay after that if you see we get the login from so here you will write admin and then admin let me write here admin and the without password let's see yeah so see you need to remember for the nexus 9k image which we are using in the evng username you should write admin and no password just press enter so you can access the switch if you see this is a switch nexus switch you can write show version to get the information if you see this is a cisco nexus operating system nxos 
and what else you can check here this is a 9000 series we have here nexus 9000 and if you check let me press enter you can see here this one and you can see how many days this switch is power on you can see 4 minute 18 second okay and if you want to change the name you can do the same configuration as we do for our normal switch i will give here switch one so see with this command i can change the password of the switch example if i want to create the vlan i can write vlan 10 example name it i do like this and now we need to check then show vlan brief if you remember if we are doing the show command we will write do if you are doing the show command in the global configuration mode you will write do but here in the nexus switch no issue directly you can write the show command when i write show vlan brief what i am getting i am getting the information here by default all the ports are in the vlan one if you see all the ports are in the vlan one just now i created the vlan 10 so you can see this is a vlan 10 i have here now if i want to assign ip here you can put interface interface vlan 10 you will get the error here because this feature by default is not enabled if you want to do the inter vlan svi or if you want to assign the ip address to that particular vlan we cannot do because this feature is disabled if you want to enable you need to write feature feature set then interface let me write here feature one minute feature interface vlan and press enter okay so with this command we can enable the feature which feature i enable this one now i can go under that vlan and assign the ip address before if i write interface vlan 10 i am getting error invalid interface format but now if i write it will accept why it is accepting because that feature before it is disabled you can see feature inter interface vlan by using this command feature interface vlan i enable that feature in the nexus switch after that i can do the inter vlan i can write here like ip address whatever ip i want to assign 192.168.1.1 give 255.255.255.0 and if you want to write no shirt write no shirt and then you can write show ip interface brief you can check we have the vlan 10 and this is the ip address we assign there okay if you want to check show interface status you can check like this also with this command we can check the interface status you can see this is a vlan 1 by default you have and now we created vlan 10 if you want to check the ip you can write show vlan show ip interface brief with this command you can check so whatever the interface is having the ip address you are going to get that interface information only if you see here we have lot of interface but we cannot see here we can see only vlan 10 because we assign the ip address if i write show interface brief with this command you will get all the interface but if you want to check the ip address you can write show ip interface brief okay so this is a command show ip interface brief to get the detail about the ip address and you can write show vlan brief to get the vlan information and if you want to check what else like feature show feature if you click here you can check whatever features is enable or disable here if you see this all features are disabled okay I can press enter 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 and you can you can check you can see only one feature is enabled which one this is a ssh is enabled and all other thing is disabled and here this one is enabled just now we enable interface vlan that is svi if you want to assign the ip address under that interface you need to enable this feature this is a command to enable so you can see here this is enable all other features are disabled so whenever you want to use that feature you can enable that one okay so i hope it is clear for you later we are going to discuss how we can use the nexus switch whatever lab we can do we will do okay so in this class what we learn how to load the nexus switch and how to power on and then 
how to do the basic configuration in our next class we are going to learn advanced level means basic only slowly slowly we are going to go for the advanced level okay so if you like this video share with your friend and uh, join our telegram channel so you can get this image and try yourself also okay thank you bye